folks, we're on our second dog, same household, serious matted dog, uh, as far as hair. This is a chow mix. I, I was told it was a Labrador mix, but definitely chow got chow in here. Uh, we are de-shedding uh, de seriously. Look at all this hair we got off of this baby, both sides. Dave and I are working both sides here. Um, we've come pretty far. Uh, it's probably been a good 35, 40 minutes of brushing now and dematting. Use your comb, your brush, your firminator, uh, your dematter. That's what we're, he's using right now to break up all this skin here or this hair up here. While he's doing that, man, he, she was laying down the whole time. So we let her lay down until we got the whole back done. We popped that under there. I need to shave the belly after I shaved this hiney. I decided to shave the hiney. I knew I was gonna shave the hiney inside when I briefed mom and dad. Um, we, I wanted to show you guys this, so check this out. So some dogs, like right now here, you're gonna see a lot of poop down this trail, this poop trail, and all this is matted, like really matted. I'm trying with the seven, so I don't have to go down to a 10, but, I may have to go to a 10 because it's safer, but if I can chisel out these mats, then I'll do this with the 7 first. If I'm hitting it and uh, dragging, dragging, I will get my 10 out, okay? So you got to be very careful. I'm making it look easy. It's not easy. It's hard. Don't do it at home if you don't have the proper training, but this is all matted. I'm not going to want to brush that out. It's pretty painful. So I'm going to chisel this out and chisel that out. During grow back, they need a brush then it'll look just as beautiful as the coat is when we're done. But we need to be brushing daily on these dogs. She's a female. I'm just kind of going here. I'll do a 10 up in the very, very close sanitary area for safety. She's an older pet, so she needs help standing up as well. So all that's still matted in there. I mean, pretty decent matting here. I'd rather take this off and have a funky looking hiney, a baboon hiney for a minute and um, not have to charge too much higher than I already do. And I'm gonna do a two, like a, maybe a two guard. I'm gonna do something to phase it in a little bit. Nothing can help this situation. It shouldn't have never gotten this far, but I'm not gonna save it. It's just too much work saving these matted, and I got poop all over the place here. It's just too matted to try to save this. If you guys wanna spend time saving it, great, but on older dogs, there's a few things we're not gonna do. All right, thanks for watching. We'll hit you back up as we get closer to the finish line. So I'm going to hollow this out. It's all matted. You're not going to be able to tell looking from the side, but we got to get this out without causing like too much issue. So from the side, you're not going to be able to tell, but she's going to be hollowed out in there. It's a trick to save time on and the tenderest part of the body especially for older dogs, is to hollow this out down here if it's pretty matted. And again, if you haven't, if you didn't watch the German Shepherd first, whoop, 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 whoop. she's old, she's old, she's gonna give out. That's fine, you can give on out. Um, see, she needs a dog up stand, but we moved it so that I could uh, shave her tummy here. So just do what you can. I need the tummy, so I can't put the dog up stamp right now up there. So much hair everywhere. But I do need her to stand. You know, there's only so much you can do with a dog laying down. So this is all. I'm going to go sideways here and just draw some, get some uh, edge in there so we can come brush better because it's pretty matted. Because this is uh, the side of the body here. Man, there's lots of tangles in there. All right, we'll be back. Wow, guys, we finally got all this de-shedding done. Look at all the hair that we got. It's kind of bunched up, but I mean, this is a lot of hair, you know, both sides over here. Look at this, and this dog is probably 45 pounds. Wow, there's a lot of brushing that was needed here. Lots of brushing, so thanks for watching. Final leg, now I'm doing a little bit of tail trimming here. Remember that line of poop coming down? We wanted to clean that out really good. So, you know, if we're gonna have that kind of issue, I went ahead and trimmed the tail out of the way. And we did 10, uh, sorry, seven, and just a 10 right around the anal area, right around the sanitary. It's a little choppy under here, not a big deal. Did a seven around here, and then I came back with my two guard and just kind of faded it in a little bit. 
she wasn't standing for very long, so then you saw that she sat down. So we got some, you know, we got that over there. We need to brush on a little bit, but we're good to go. We shaved down her tummy underneath. I did the seven down her back leg, just the very the haunches. Seven back here, a two guard on this, a two guard right here. I came in and did a lot of brushing with the neckline, but didn't take any hair there. Uh, brushing is very essential. And she did great, I'm telling you, man. She did really good for the grooming. Just kind of a little bit, you know, because all they wanted was bath. All they wanted was a bath and de but it was so, such in bad shape. But she said she did really, really good. Uh, we're going to clean her ears. I've already done her nails while she was down and laying down earlier. Dog Up Stand is the only reason she's standing up right now. This is so great. You can go to dogupstand.com, place your orders there. We got some larges left. Next order will be coming in in a couple months, hopefully by mid-February. Um, thanks for watching. All the tools that we used on the German Shepherd and this dog are in a toolkit at our, on our website. You'll see that down below. You can shop with us. This free education and tips given to you by us. And you can help us uh, continue our business by shopping with us. That's all we ask. That's all we really need. And to give you this advice and tips. And please share because that's how we grow. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Ooh, that was really tough. So second dog, a lot of brushing. Ended up having a lot more matting in here. So we did a four guard, seven and ten back here to get that all short. Feels like she lays here a lot, and older dogs will. They'll lay on their sides a lot and cause matting just from never, you know, brushing and sitting on it the whole time. Her coat looks really good now, nice and clean, smells great with the pet soap. Uh, she did great. These are, this one and the other one are just some, her name's Chocolate. Some of the sweetest dogs I've ever um, had to brush and everything we had to do, I can't believe they let us do it, so did so good. You did so good. Yes, you did. She's an old girl too. She's 15 as well. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Check out us below. Subscribe, share, and shop with us. Thank you so much.